directed the NYPD to surge additional resources to schools, houses of worship to ensure that they are safe. Security stepped up Friday in some U.S. cities, including New York, especially around Muslim and Jewish places of worship. The heightened concerns spurred by Saturday's deadly attack on Israel by Hamas and the ongoing fighting in the Middle East. We must remain vigilant. Officials say they're on high alert ahead of planned global pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian demonstrations. And the heightened security follows a call by a former Hamas leader for protests Friday in support of Palestinians. Washington, D.C. also adding measures. The White House shared a Situation Room photo Thursday. U.S. national security teams said to be discussing homeland security following the attacks in Israel. Authorities insisting, though, they were unaware of any specific or credible threats. Our hate crime task force is on high alert and will help investigate disturbing incidents as necessary. Rallies building in the U.S. throughout the day, this gathering in support of Israel in D.C. And overseas, security has also been increased, with a focus on religious sites. In the U.K., the mayor of London is reporting a spike in anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. We know, I'm afraid, uh, from history, uh, that whenever, whenever there's disturbance in the Middle East, uh, there tends to be a, an increase in hate crime. <laughs> Massive demonstrations held Friday in places like the Middle East and North Africa, showing their support to the Palestinian people as Israel sets the stage for a ground invasion of Gaza. Late Friday, Tel Aviv time, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that Israel's retaliation for the Hamas assault from Gaza was only beginning.